There are no restrictions to prevent foreigners from buying properties in Belgium. So, if you are living in Belgium, you will need to work out whether it is better for you to rent in Belgium or buy a Belgian property outright. Housing prices in Belgium are not among the most expensive in Europe and it is relatively cheap compared to neighboring countries, but property transaction costs are high. According to 2017 figures, rents in Belgium were at an almost historic low, and house prices have dropped by half percent. Since then, house prices in Belgium have been steadily on the rise over the past couple of years. The most recent statistics reveal an annual increase of 5%. The rental market, on the other hand, is described as being subdued, despite the fact that 60% of people in the country are renters. Rented properties account for 30% of housing stock, which is down from 33% in 1990. Whether you're looking to buy a studio at the city center or your dream family home in a picturesque village outside Belgium, it's important you understand how the local housing market works. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos and write your comments or questions. Buying a home in Belgium, although it is cheaper than in many other places, still involves a far greater financial outlay than renting. Few people are in the position to purchase a home since access to credit is needed, such as a Belgian mortgage. If this is not possible, another option is to rent, at least for the short term, since the transaction costs associated with buying property, meaning that it will take a few years to recoup costs. If you are moving to Belgium for a long term, then buying instead of letting may be more cost effective. The buyer and seller split the costs of buying a property in Belgium. However, the buyer will pay most of the costs around 15% of the purchase price. The seller pays around 5%. Belgium has a mixture of landowners who own property outright, own property with a mortgage, rent privately or rent at a subsidized rate for those on lower incomes. According to statistics from Eurostat, 40% of the Belgian lives in semi-detached housing, which is one of the largest percentages in Europe. 33% of people in Belgium are property owners with outstanding mortgages. This is the most common tenure type in the country, and across many other European countries. If your move is short term or you are unsure how long you will stay, renting may be a better choice. Private renters account for a relatively small proportion of tenure types in Belgium, but this option tends to be popular with foreigners who may not want to deal with a foreign property market. In Belgium, social housing is provided for single people and families on lower incomes. Apartments, and sometimes houses, are offered with subsidized rents, but the number of available properties can vary widely between regions. To apply for social housing, you will need to go to a social housing association. Buying your home is obviously considered to be a more sensible long-term move, but this depends on the housing market trends. In the future, you may sell your home at a profit, but you can also end up in a negative balance if prices take a turn for the worse. So, is a good idea to check the Belgian property market forecasts before investing or get advice from a local professional. If now, you want your own home having the freedom to renovate it according to your own task, then buying a place may be a good idea for you. However, this is a big commitment that you cannot easily walk out if situation is change. If you value flexibility over ownership, it is better to rent. If you have found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe for more videos and write your comments or questions.